everyone, welcome back to Murder on the Titanic, it's Robotic Zombie, and we are in the midst of the ship sinking, and you hear the people screaming and crying and panicking in the background, and we need to get a condenser from the purser in order to rework the wireless controls to contact the Californian. So, here we go. Mr. McElroy, good to see you at your post. We've come at the bequest of Mr. Bride, who has attempted to manage the wireless room. Can you help us attain a, the radio condenser? The wireless radio is useless without it. I'd love to help you with that, but since the ship struck the iceberg, I've been inundated with requests to return the valuables to the first class passengers. If you can help me clear my sh shelves, I could find that component for you. Okay. I was worried he was gonna like, hey, I have this puzzle I need to solve before I get to that. <laughs> okay, wow, that's a lot of fancy stuff. Onks ring, rose ring, turquoise ring, ruby brooch, turquoise brooch, spider brooch. Okay. There we go. It's like a choker. I'm further indebted to you, Professor. You helped me return all the jewelry to the passengers. Little good it will do them, I suspect, except an extra weight around their necks when they're being sucked down as the Titanic slips beneath the waves. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at that aspect, but just his, like, bluntness. Here is your missing component. Tell Mr. Bride it was an honor serving with him on this voyage. Farewell. Oh, this is getting really grim. Our thanks and farewell to you, Miss Mr. McElroy. I can't imagine the kind of the, that feeling you know is that this will probably be the last time you'll see someone. Here's your missing com missing component, Mr. Bride. Excellent. Now let's see to sending our message. Okay, got to adjust the signal until it matches the carrier wave in order to send the signal. Okay... There we go! The message is sent! I just hope that someone is manning the wireless at California at this time of night. While you were gone, the captain stopped by to check on things. He said he was headed to the wheelhouse when he left. Okay, journal. Is anyone at the wireless of California tonight? It is the closest ship in the vicinity. Okay. Wheelhouse. Captain? Captain Smith! I'm so glad we found you. Professor, in all the chaos, I've forgiven. I've forgotten you were still investigating the murder. Given the circumstances, you and your assistant would do well to get yourselves to a lifeboat. Here, let me bring one of the officers to escort you. No, sir! That's what we came to tell you. Your officers are working in league with a man named Richard Bartholomew Greenfield III. He is the mastermind behind the murders tonight. Greenfield had his manservant murder Charles Taylor with the cult when the cold tender discovered that this ship is not really Titanic, but her sister ship Olympic. Then he in turn had his manservant murder to avoid any loose ends. Olympic? I don't understand. Captain, as I recall from the newspapers, you were in command of Olympic when she collided with the SMS Hawk some seven months ago. We've uncovered a document that reveals Olympic was un underinsured and the cost of repairs would have bankrupt the White Star Line. That's where Greenfield and his cronies came in. They suggested that Olympic be made to switch places with her sister ship Titanic. Minor repairs were made to Olympic to make her seaworthy, and cosmetic changes brought about the illusion that we are standing on the deck of the Titanic. But there can be little doubt that the ship you've been in command of for this voyage is all in, a, is in all actuality Olympic. And once Greenfield recruited officers Murdoch and Lightoller, it was a certainty that she would be sent to the bottom of the Atlantic. Our officers? They're helping the passengers to the lifeboats. They have served me loyally. They wouldn't. For a high enough price, anyone's loyalty can be bought, even that of your officers. That's why you must have them arrested. I'm sorry, Professor. I can't help you. A captain must go down with this ship. I came up here to the wheelhouse to find a photo of my beloved wife. Could you help me locate it? I wanted to see her one last time before. This is pretty depressing. Yes, we need to find a photo of her. 
first we need to find the thermometer, salt shaker, pins nest, letter opener, thimble, binder cap. We can move things around. There's a ship. Where is the letter opener? There it is. Thank you, Professor. Now please save yourselves and let me be with my beloved in my final moments. Very well then, Captain. Fairly well. It looks like we're on our own from here on out. We'll get no help from the crew. I have a pistol in my trunk in our stateroom. Let's return there to retrieve it. What are you gonna do with the pistol, Professor? My pistol was packed into the footlocker. Would you go... Would you get to it, Bubonic? Okay. There's the pistol. We encounter Mr. Greenfield. I suspect he will not come with us quietly. This will help convince him, I'm sure. Now let's see if we can find a way off the ship. Professor, there you are. I hoped I would be able to find you. It's madness on the boat deck. I'm scared. Do you think there are any lifeboats remaining? There's only one way to find out, my dear. Stick with us. Let's head to the boat deck to see what we can find. Okay. Boat deck. Oh, and there's a lifeboat. Cutscene. Oh, that's the last one they kept for themselves. Greenfield, we have your letters. You and your co-conspirators co will answer for your mad actions tonight. I see. Well, let's be reasonable here. I can offer you a lot of money to keep quiet about this. Your money won't do any any good when we're lying at the bottom of the ocean, along with this doomed ship. Oh. Oh no! Oh, he's taking his money back. You're not the only one who thought ahead, Professor. Now we'll see who goes down to the depths. But I do admire your investigative nature. You obviously know the Olympic and Titanic switch places. But when we learned of the scheme to claim the insurance money for this false Titanic, he grew a conscience. He was fired, of course. Oh, Charles Taylor knew ahead, knew ahead of time. Imagine my surprise when I learned that he had taken a job as a coal tender aboard the ship and was seeking evidence seeking evidence to prove the conspiracy. Fortunately, the ship would drag down the evidence and even save me from sharing my inheritance with my useless sister. You're mad, Greenfield. And you, Murdoch, and Lytola, you're fools to follow him. Perhaps you're right, Professor. It's clear now that California will not be coming to our rescue. It'll be great loss of light this tragic night. There he goes. Now is not the time to be having a change of heart, Mr. Murdoch. You can go down with the ship, just like your beloved Captain Smith. Ouch. That'll be enough of that, Greenfield. You and your mad schemes are through. Ooh. Professor has been shot. We need to tend that wound. Bubonic, there are some medical supplies in the ship's hospital. Can you go retrieve them from the medicine cabinet? On your way, you can look for Sophia. I locked her in a supply closet in the first class galley. Greenfield instructed me to kill her, but I couldn't. Oh no! That is a, that's a sad sight. But I need to get medicine. And... okay. Oh no! Bubonic! Ah, oh, it is so good to see you pass by! I have Sophia! She is with me! I remembered our conversation from earlier, and when I saw the officer escorting her, I followed him. 
after he locked her. Can we have this conversation later when the room is not on fire? After he locked her in the closet and left, I released her from captivity, but then the ship struck something and now we're trapped here. We cannot move the debris, but if you can retrieve an axe, you can clear our way out. There is one down the hallway near the back stairs. Okay. Of course, there's steam everywhere. More pipes have burst. Knew I should have held on to that blasted pipe wrench. Looks like Jimmy. Okay. What? Well, okay. Let me get to the map. Oh, we're seeing all of these characters. Now I'm counting them. Really? I have to search through more stuff? <laughs> We're kind of in a bit of a crisis. Okay, ballet slippers, paper bag, newspaper, Statue of Liberty, keyhole, and a box of cigars. Well, there are the cigars. There's the goblet. There's the keyhole. Vase. Playing cards. Rope. Orange. Domino. Let's see. Where's the hammerhead? Hammerhead. Okay. the handle and the hammer. Can we break it? Of course you can. Break! Should just throw these off to the side. Don't think anyone's gonna be looking for them. There's the wrench. Okay. Get back and save Jimmy. Okay. Okay. Got that. <coughs> Bonnick, you're a sight for sore eyes. Oh, Jim is good. Not doing so good here. Frame ticket is about to be punched, that's for certain. But before I go, I wonder if you'd be good enough to do me a final favor. Me and the ship's doctor had an arrangement. He kept a bottle of the good stuff locked in a cabinet in his hospital. Him and me had the, had the only keys. You could bring me the bottle. I could die happy. Well, as happy as a man lying at the bottom of the stairs with his spine all crushed up can die anyway. Hurry now, I ain't got much time left. Okay, we will get back to that when we, we will get to that when we get back to um, Murder on the Titanic. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, bye.